FIFA 19 is finally here, and if you want any cheap MSP or PSN for FIFA points or some cheap game codes, check out G2A.com. I'll leave a link down below in the top line of the description and use code HABER for 3% cash back. How is it going, lads, and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, what I've got for you is a 50,000 coin Premier League team. Hopefully, you guys can have some success with it in foot jumps. Now, all I'm going to say is I've played some foot jumps. The desk is not feeling very good, okay? The 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 casual the casual thing that I'll do is I'll just go like that and hit my desk. Uh, but the desk is really feeling it. So uh, one like equals one prayer for the desk. However, if you guys want to see me do a Brazilian squad builder, uh, probably about 100 to 150,000 coin price range, let me know. And also let me know any other squad builders you want to see down below and their price ranges. I'd love to get your feedback and do a lot more of these. So starting off in goal with the 50,000 coin overpowered Premier League squad. We're going to have, uh, we're going to have Great Gator. Now, Gator actually is one of, in my opinion, the most OP goalkeepers in the Premier League. This guy is absolutely insane and he's really, really annoying to play against. He just seems to have the right stats in all the right places and it's so irritating. So, definitely one of the better goalkeepers in the Premier League for sure and at a price range as well. Obviously, we've got De Gea, we've got... Uh, Courtois, if you want to move out to La Liga, you know, all black people like that. But you know, if you're if you want a lower price range, can't even speak. If you want a lower price range, go with Guaita or Gator. Um, over at right back, we have got Yedlin, uh, another absolute beast. Now, when I look at players like, for example, right backs, left backs, full backs, and, and, and central midfielders, I look more towards the right hand side physical stats. I think stamina is a huge thing in this game. I think strength is a huge thing in this game. And I think pace is big in this game. And I already know a lot of people are going to start slating me in the comments. But seriously, until you guys realize that. Just because a defender is catching with your player does, doesn't mean that the pace is not completely neglected in this game. Uh, all I'm going to say is is that pace is a big factor, especially late on in the game. Um, that's why you want someone with a lot of stamina, uh, good jumping stats, good strength stats, pretty decent aggression stats. And all in all, for about 2,500 coins, he's a really, really good defender. Now, over at the right center back spot, we have got Eric Bai, one of my favorite players in this game. A little bit... Like the, the disappointing factor with him is he's got a 72 stamina. It doesn't help. However, 85 jumping, 85 strength, 87 aggression. <clears throat> very, very decent. Uh, if I were you, I'd get a decent centre-back on the bench, though. It's always nice to replace a centre-back, you know, around the 60th, 70th minute. Um... It just keeps the defense on its toes and it keeps you from leaking goals late on in the game. That's what I found anyway. And then over at the left center back spot, we have got Nathan Ake. Uh, on the cheaper side, similar stamina, which is disappointing. However, really good jumping stat, decent strength, decent aggression, and good standing and slide tackle stats. Um, if I was to put a, a chem style on, I'd put Anchor. Anchor seems to be the best chem style for center backs in this game, uh, in my opinion. So I would definitely put the Anchor on. In terms of price, Eric Bai is about 15 to 20 k and, and Ake is about 1 to 2k I think actually Eric Bailly is more like 10k now actually now that I think about it um not 15 to 20k 15 to 20k maybe a, a week ago more like 10k now um over at left back we have got Robertson who looks incredible 87 stamina only 66 strength but I feel like strength is probably more important on the center backs as opposed to the left back and right back um he's got a really decent crossing start as well so in a 4 one 2 narrow you want him overlapping and putting crosses in so uh Decent. He's also left-footed, which is good. Um, he's got decent passing, dribbling, defending, physical, and all in all, just decent stats for a left back. So I do, I do like that card. Over at CDM now, we have got NDD. NDD seems so overpowered. 92 stamina, 90 jumping, 75 strength, 85 aggression. Incredible tackling stats, incredible marking. Very, very good CDM all round. This guy looks absolutely incredible in game and he is fantastic as well. He's about six foot, but he's just phenomenal. Really, really good player. Really like him. One of my favorite CDMs on this whole game. He's just absolutely insane. Now over at the left center mid spot, we have actually got Seri. Um, Seri is another one of those all round, really well-rounded players. Um, more on the passing and dribbling side as opposed to the uh, defending side. But I feel like when you've got a CDM like Ndidi to drop back, you want players that are half decent at defending but not fantastic you want them to push forward a little bit more i just want a lot of balance in the squad and i think balance is definitely something in this game that is not the balanced stat but just balancing your teams in general is very important over at the right center mid now we have got wynaldum um let me put him in the squad first before i look at his stats again 85 stamina really good stamina stat really decent dribbling stats as well uh decent passing stats half decent defending stats as well um 
All round, just a really, really solid card. And for like 2,500 coins, you cannot go wrong. He's also got four-star skills in this game as well. So he's really, really solid. And I do like this card a lot. I, I would highly recommend, if you guys were looking for a cheaper Premier League centre mid, to go with Wijnaldum. Now, at the cam spot, there's a few different options you can go for. If you want to go more expensive, I'd recommend Jesse Lingard. The reason I've gone with Sigurdsson is because his shooting, passing, and dribbling stats are very, very good. He's, he's a bit stronger than the usual cam. You know, he's got about 70 strength in game, 84 stamina, which means he can carries on going throughout most of the game but I feel like cams are great for time for nest shots passes inside the box holding the ball on the edge of the area I think they're fantastic for that which is why I went with Sigurdsson as opposed to Jesse Lingard or you know Lanzini or Barkley or anyone like that Lingard uh, was a fantastic option as well but I think that for a cheaper option I would go definitely with Sigurdsson and if you can upgrade to his inform because the stats look really really good he's also fantastic just for build-up play in general if you're looking for fast build-up you keep him on stay forward all the time and he will be there 100% of the time now Left striker is actually a centre forward. I've not converted him yet. It is actually Joshua King. Now, this card looks phenomenal. He's got four star, four star. He's de like he's got not the greatest stamina. Um, I would definitely have a sub on the bench, maybe a, a forward or a left wing slash right wing for him. Um, aside from that, really good uh, sprint speed, decent acceleration, 81 finishing as well, which is nice in game. Uh, could have better dribbling stats. However, I think that his strength makes up for that in game. So. Definitely a really solid card. And then over a striker, to finish the team off, we have actually got ourselves Jamie Vardy. Uh, Jamie Vardy, he's got really nice in-game stats. 89 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, 84 finishing, sorry, 85 finishing, 85 shot power, 85 attack and positioning. You just got 86 stamina, uh, 67 strength, 92 accelerator, uh, sorry, 92 aggression even, um, and 74 jumping, which is decent in game as well. 88 reactions, which is really nice. 82 composure, and that's what the full team costs. Uh, sorry, looks like even in terms of cost, uh, Footbin puts it around 50,000 coins on the Xbox and 55k on the PlayStation. Um, so it's around a 50k OP Premier League team and it's really really solid i can definitely tell you this team performs well in game um and what i will say is individually the players seem to hold their own as well in different squads so if you were to mix and match and pull different players out and put different players in it works well as well and the diamond this game just feels really nice it feels like a really balanced formation so i highly recommend it if you guys did enjoy this video leave a like down below subscribe if you guys are new and here thank you for watching and i'll see you later